Hey, what is up? So I wanted to talk about Anthem because this is a game I am actually excited for, as well as worried. Uh, now, ever since I first saw Anthem shown off, trailer-wise and gameplay-wise, uh, I was impressed. I was like, wow, that looks really cool. And then I got to play the alpha a little bit. Dude tested the servers. The servers got killed. They got wrecked. Um, but uh, I was impressed. Um, gameplay wise controls I was impressed uh, by what I saw in that in that little tiny test build in that little small period of time that I spent in there um, so my my main the first off right it's EA oh, that's already like a huge red flag huge it's enormous it's like the biggest red flag in the world EA and that's a sad thing that's really sad. And I'm sure most most people who have been fans of EA games in the past know what that's like. We all know, right? We've we've, we've come along with for the ride, and the ride is is breaking and shutting down, and people are falling off and dying. Uh, that was bad. I should not have said that because, like, you know, that actually does happen in real life sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's sad to to think of EA like that. To be like, I don't. I'm worried about this game because of EA. When the game, you look at the game, the, it's so freaking cool looking, right? Like, it's just like, holy crap. But the way the industry is going, is it's a big downhill bunch of bull crap, and it's easy to expect the worst of a new game, especially based on the publisher. And, for example, like, Ubisoft and Activision Blizzard, I don't necessarily hate them, but I also don't want to go buy a game made by them or published by them. Because I know when I buy a game from them, oh, am I going to get ripped off to all hell. <laughs> DLC, microtransactions, all the... Whatever they can throw at us to get more money, right? Fuck the game and its content. Give me more money for all this little stupid crap inside of it. That, that you, So for a lot of people, they don't know this. A lot of the people, the, the new audience of gaming, the younger people they don't realize that that every microtransaction you see in a game these days used to be unlockables and rewards for completing stages or the game itself and you know if they had replayable options for those games you would have unlockable stuff like that all that stuff was unlockable by playing the game and now they just charge you for everything and people are like it's only cosmetic Please slap yourself. Anyways, Anthem. <laughs> wow, that was I, I need man. I've said it before. I could rant all day long about the pay model and the business of the industry right now. Anthem. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm actually really excited for this. My my main concern, of course, big red flag EA. But I'm really worried about the content. Like how much content is going to be in the game? Because from what I've seen, when the developers are showing it off. Uh, the gameplay and the world is I love it. I love this kind of stuff like this is freaking cool It's really cool and from the tiny bit that I played it was actually fun um, And looking at it also looks fun, right? Like this is why I'm interested it looks so awesome and I was like if it plays like it looks then it's awesome and it, it played like it looked and I didn't I barely played it I barely played any at all I'm not supposed to talk about that, but whatever we, you can see it. It's this you know, whatever um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the content, like how much there's going to be to do in the game. And for comparison, I'm going to, uh, Destiny 2. I loved Destiny 1 as, as a game, as a game. I enjoyed it. Thing is really cool. I love the setting. I love the sci-fi setting. I love the, uh, the gameplay is really nice. Destiny 2, I'm a huge fan of, of, of the game. And I do think it's worth picking up if you get now. If if you, if you did not pay for it before when it launched, if you see the game on sale now with Destiny 2, including Forsaken, for thirty bucks or under, get it if it's something that you're interested in. At this point, you're getting the full game. You're not getting ripped off like people that had bought it before paid full price for that game. You will get a full experience for that price. So Destiny 2 totally worth it. It's a really cool game. The thing about it is content. Uh, it's one of those games where. It, it's kind of like Warframe with less content, a lot less content. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of Warframe. But like, I think it's a really excellent free-to-play game. Excellent. Easily top tier, top three best free-to-play games. Um, I'm personally not a fan of, of just 
basically doing hundreds of different missions that are pretty much exactly the same, killing the exact same enemies over and over again. And there's a lot more to Warframe than that, but that's one of those, apparently one of those, another one of those free to play games where you literally have to put hundreds of hours until you actually get to the point where it even opens up even more. And that's annoying. Like that's a whole nother subject. But so anyways, content wise, uh, Destiny 2 is kind of like that too. You're just replaying the same missions over and over again. And there's nothing wrong with that because the game is fun, right? It's a it's a fun game, and, and um, I've I've actually seen different reviews saying uh, it's better to be a hardcore player uh, when you play Destiny. And I'm just like, as a casual player, like I love the crap out of it. I I just threw it on last night for about an hour to play it and go have some fun. Um, but for me, I I like a variety, and and I prefer games that take me. To different places fighting different enemies especially different enemies so that's my biggest problem with destiny 2 because the environments are always changing there's lots of different uh, there are a lot of different planets you go to but each planet has lots of different environments to explore and, and see but one, once you've done it you're done right so I, I kind of when i look at destiny 2 for example i kind of look at it as at it as like a single player experience to just once you play through the campaign you're done and it was really cool. And then if you want to keep playing it, you can. You can keep replaying it over and over. It's kind of, you know, so I, I kind of, that's how I see it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's something about with this game. Because the different the different types of, of things that they've shown off. And, and the developer Twitch streams. And, and, you know, just the gameplay that you can see on YouTube. There's lots of it. This is all over the place. Um, and it's it's also funny to me that they keep talking about like oh it's alpha gameplay like this is this is pretty much it right it's just some tiny bits of polish here and there but this is pretty much it. Um, they haven't. I, I keep seeing a lot of the same stuff when when watching the um, the gameplay on the live streams and uh, YouTube videos. The cool thing about the YouTube videos they have really good montages. This is an excellent one from IGN. Uh, Fifteen minutes of gameplay new gameplay or something uh and it's, it's exclusive to ign so uh you know that's pretty cool and it's it's great whoever did the editing on this video just wow i loved it i was like because it was like showing the different perspectives from each team member while they're doing the same mission and then they did it for multiple missions and it's really cool looking um so i'm just worried about content i've i've rambled a lot here and i didn't mean to i really just wanted to say i'm i'm excited for this game I'm planning to get it. I'm actually planning to get this launch day. And I'm already expecting to regret it, sadly. And I, I think mostly just from as far as I can tell content-wise, I, I think the game itself, gameplay, is going to be really cool, super impressive and, and beautiful. But I think uh, how, how much content has to offer is where I'm going to be like, Ugh. So we'll see what happens. Well, you know... I, I can't here's I can't help but want to play it like I really want to play this game because this is this just looks so awesome to me and the tiny bit that I did try in the alpha like I was like okay yeah I would play this game I would play this I don't know if I want to spend sixty dollars on it and that's another thing I'm not going to because I do have a credit so I'm gonna get it for about half off <laughs> uh, so I will not be paying the full price for it so that's that's actually a big part of why I'm going to get this game launch day is just the fact that I have a credit that I can use and, and not pay the full sixty dollars and again it's not i don't i'm not specifically saying i don't think it's worth sixty dollars i just i personally don't want to pay sixty dollars for it based on kind of be just being worried about the content it's really it it's really all it is because gameplay wise and, and the worldwide setting wise it looks incredible you know like i don't know and then on top of that being EA, knowing that there's going to be probably season pass stuff. I don't I don't even remember. I don't think they've even mentioned anything about a season pass right now. If they have, I haven't really noticed it. They're not, they're not hyping it, right? Like most games these days hype up a season pass. Like how do you hype up having to pay a lot more for such little amounts of content? Like I don't understand it. I think it's way smarter to just shut your mouth and just put it in the game like you know you're going to do. Put a season pass, put your stupid microtransactions, put your deal, but don't hype it up as if it's a good thing. Fuck, like, what the, seriously? Oh, freaking hell, man. It's just, uh. So, I'm 100% sure there will be, you know, all kinds of microtransactions. I don't know how much of it there will be. I don't know how much of it's going to, 
ruin the experience. You know, for example, Call of Duty is still. Uh, I was just watching a video about this too. I can't remember who it was by, but um, you know, Battlefield at least dropped the season pass thing because. Uh, when you have that season pass, you, you split up the player base, right? It's a half and half. People uh, that buy the, the season pass play those extra maps. And the people that don't, don't play with them. So you're splitting up the player base, and it really just screws everybody. It doesn't just screw the people that own the DLC, the season pass. It doesn't just screw the people that don't own it. It screws everybody on, on both sides. Um, the, the one thing for the people that do own the season pass is they get to enjoy those new maps. That's cool. Those maps are great, right? Like, usually. Um, the maps are cool and all that, but you're either way, you're splitting the player bats and screwing everybody over because of that system. So, uh, you know, it's... Uh, what are they going to do in this game to screw us, right? And then on top of that, the whole thing about the argument about cosmetics can kiss my ass. Uh, I, I have lots of friends that they're fine with that, there, and I keep telling them that's just nonsense. Like, <laughs> to me it's nonsense and i'll tell you and like i said earlier it's it's because cosmetics used to be rewards we used to get that from playing the game and and unlocking them through playing the game and now they charge for it uh extra money and yeah it's not important to have those things but of course you want them especially when it looks cool why the hell like it's it's such a terrible argument that people are like oh it's cosmetic only no just slap your face <laughs> uh anyways so again rambled on way too much i don't know i'm whatever um i am excited for this game i, I as a game kind of like destiny 2 like I, i've said this i you know I, I put up a review about destiny 2 and as a game a full game including the expansions as a full game all together now where the game is now it's really good it's freaking really good um, but the the business model is disgusting and horrible, uh, you know. But that's the time we're in. We're not going back, right? We're not going back to the days of no microtransactions. We're not going back to the days of no DLC or maybe rarely an expansion pack every year, every two years. You know, like, because expansion packs have been around for a long time. Those were different, though. Expansion packs used to be, like, basically a sequel. to this, But it wasn't a sequel. It was tacking on to the same game. Uh, even World of Warcraft has gotten worse with their expansion packs. Even even that game. Uh, I, that's just a dying kind of a thing going on. And it's still great, right? Content-wise, it's still cool. But they've, they're worse. It's just deteriorating, kind of. I probably pronounced that wrong saying it all fast but yeah so yeah this <laughs> i did not mean to go on a tangent or a rant or whatever about all this different stuff but it is related and it's also why i'm worried about this game because I, I i cannot wait to play it i'm excited about it but i'm also scared to hell of wasting my money on it <laughs> like right that's messed up. This is where we're at in the industry right now. That's, that's where we're at. Is just <sighs> that's pretty crappy. That's that's terrible. That's not cool, man. Anyways, I I don't know if you, if you made it through this video. Good job. Like, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think if you have any thoughts, and I will get back to you. I will. I might. Maybe you'll inspire me to make another video. Maybe I'll just leave a reply to your comment and stuff. I don't know. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye bye.